Today's video is a review of these toe cages from the brand Mark. As you may know, the Peloton bike requires spin shoes with Look Delta compatible cleats. This can be problematic if you have other people in your household who would also like to share the bike and don't want to invest in spin shoes with cleats. Today I'm going to share with you a new product that is intended for the Peloton bike. These toe cages give riders the option of just using regular shoes on the spin bike. These toe cages currently retail on Amazon for $49. I've previously featured their products on my channel. I featured their cleats as well as seat covers for the Peloton. Today's video will be broken down into the following topic areas. I'm first gonna talk about how these toe cages work. I'm also gonna talk about the installation process. And lastly, I'm gonna go over the removal. These toe cages clip directly onto your pedal. They're quick and easy to install. They took under 15 minutes for both pedals. So really what you're doing, instead of snapping the spin shoe onto the pedal, this portion mimics the cleat, so you will have this on top of your pedal. And they're a great option if you don't want to invest in separate spin shoes. I have a pair of the Peloton spin shoes, which currently retail on Peloton's site for $125. They also included the corresponding cleats, but if you were to buy a spin shoe off of Amazon, you will need to purchase your cleat separately. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through all the steps in this instruction manual. I found it to be well-written and easy to follow along. So for the first step, we're gonna thread this cord through the toe cage. You're going to press this metal catch and thread this through as well. From there, you can tighten it to fit your appropriate shoe size and then just put the remainder piece down here. So these metal cage portions are going to be facing on the outside of your shoe. The next step is to loosen the bolts right here on the toe cage with the included 2.5 millimeter Allen bolt. So of course we're going to turn it counterclockwise to loosen. And what this does is that it allows you to adjust the length of your toe cage right here. As you can see, you can pull it to lengthen or also retract it. The next step is to use a corresponding Allen key to decrease the tension on the clip-in pedal until the tension adjuster is set to the lowest setting to clip in the toe cage. So I have this set right here and I'm going to grab the size 7 64ths. And right here, if we go counterclockwise, it will loosen it, clockwise will tighten it. So the instructions do mention to not over loosen it because you don't want it to fall out. And what that does is loosen this piece right here so you're able to more easily clip in the toe cage. The next step is to determine the left and right of the toe cage. As I mentioned before, you want the buckle side to be facing out. The next step is to simply clip in the toe cage. So we're gonna be matching up this triangle portion downwards into the pedal right here. So we're just going to want to angle it and press it down. So as you can see, that went in quite easily because we did decrease the tension of the screw right here. Once the toe cage is installed, they also recommend to retighten the tension of the screw right here just so the toe cage doesn't fall out. So just a few more turns and that is tightened up. So as you can see now, the toe cage is quite securely fastened in place. First, I'm gonna loosen this screw right here by turning it counterclockwise. Once again, I'm trying to be careful not to totally remove the screw. This will decrease the tension on this portion. And we're gonna keep this metal portion on the outside because this is the left foot. I'm gonna match this triangle portion up with the pedal right here, put it on top and just press it into place. From there, I'm gonna re-tighten this screw and the toe cage is completely installed. To clip out of these toe cages, we're going to once again decrease the tension of the screw right here to its lowest setting. We're going to hold the strap with one hand and the front of the toe cage with the other hand and just turn. 
If the toe cage portion is too long in length for your shoe size, the place where you press down with your foot on the pedal will be off-centered. If you're trying to figure out how long to make this toe portion right here, whether you extend it or shorten it, for me, I have mine at the shortest setting. It is fully back on this part right here. And what I also did was line up where the tip of the cleat touches, and you kind of want to have the tip of the toe to reach this portion. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video and comment down below what is your thought on this product. Do you like this addition to the Peloton pedals? Or would you prefer to just purchase a pair of spin shoes and the appropriate cleats? If you're not already, be sure to subscribe if you like content like this, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.